future of F1 with synthetic fuels. Formula One is ready to experience a bigger change in 2026 with the introduction of synthetic to the sport for the first time as a part of its net zero carbon plans. Once the synthetic fuel concept was like science fiction, it's not like that anymore. Even though this is new to Formula One, synthetic fuels are being used in many other sports categories like WRC and IndyCar. This will be an attractive solution for the expensive and inconvenient electric car concept in motorsport. So, through this video, we are going to investigate synthetic fuel usage in F1. But before that, make sure to subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to get more interesting updates about Formula One. Synthetic fuels were introduced to the World Rally Championship for the first time in 2022 by using a blend of biofuel which it claims to be 100% renewable. Following a similar trend, IndyCar also decided to go with its own blend of second-generation ethanol produced from Brazilian sugarcane. Synthetic fuels are mostly produced through the combination of biomass and hydrogen, and they are also releasing carbon emissions to the outer atmosphere as the fossil fuel does. However, those released carbons are absorbed again by the plants again as a part of the carbon cycle and used again to produce synthetic fuel, giving 100% renewability to those fuels. That's how this carbon concept is working, and no one can argue scientifically that international combustion engines powered with these synthetic fuels cause damage on the environment. However, this will be an extra burden on racing teams as synthetic fuels are much more expensive than ordinary fossil fuels. Outside racing, this will not be a good alternative to fossil fuels as it is expensive on one hand and not available in enough quantities to match with the global demand on the other hand. According to the projections, only 5 million road cars out of 287 million cars on the road will be run with synthetic fuels by 2035. Talking about the future of Formula One with synthetic fuel, F1's chief technical officer, Pat Simmons, said, It's been a fascinating challenge. At the time I was first talking to people about this, no one knew what I was talking about. And to be honest, I'm not sure I did really. So I've done an awful lot of research into it. We've worked closely with the FIA. We've got a couple of very good fuel specialists and we've had a lot of help from our partner Aramco. Even though Formula One is targeting for fully renewable fuels from 2026, it is currently using renewable fuels for racing in lesser quantities. That means E10 fuel variety that is currently using to power Formula One engines is a mixture of 90% of fossil fuels and 10% of ethanol. So the plan is to shift that 10% into 100% from the 2026 season. The 10% of ethanol that we're putting in now is entirely sustainable, says Simmons. There are lots of different types of ethanol, which vary in quality, but this is a true green ethanol, so fully sustainable. However, this is a challenging task for the sport as it needs continuous production in large quantities to supply the demand to power the F1 powertrains. They have three more years to prepare the supply network to obtain a continuous supply. We've been working with Aramco and have now tested 39 surrogate blends of fuels. This has helped us understand the effects of the different types of blends that you can use in sustainable fuel. We've been testing those in a single cylinder Formula One power unit so it's representative testing, and I think that's helped accelerate our progress," Simmons added further. Even though different sport categories based on the electric engines were introduced recently, they are not able to provide the same excitement provided by the internal combustion engines in racing. So this move towards synthetic fuels is a good decision by the motorsport industry to save its place within the future societies that prioritize sustainable goals. Managing Director of F1, Ross Braun, also talked positively about replacing fossil fuels with synthetic fuels in the sport. He said, We're working on an e-fuel where the carbon circle is completely neutral so the carbon utilized to produce that fuel is the same quantity as the carbon emitted from the internal combustion engine. It means that the engines do not add anything to the carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. The great appeal is when we find the solution, you can use it in your road car without making any changes to the engine. We will have close to 2 billion internal combustion engines on the planet, and whatever electric solution we find, whatever hydrogen solution we find, there's still going to be 2 billion cars. There are parts of the world where those cars won't change to electric. If we drop a fuel which has much less impact on the environment 
into those cars, it's a positive change and we will be sending a strong message that this is a feasible way to go. All the oil companies that work in F1 are all committed to that. It will be a fantastic achievement and a fantastic message to the world that there are other solutions as well, Ross Braun added further. Formula One is considered as the pinnacle of motorsports with its usage of the finest technology in the automobile industry over decades. It is the home for some of the cutting edge technologies which introduced late into the road cars as well. It has produced most efficient power units and hybrid systems over the years and this latest move towards synthetic fuels to help the green revolution will surely gift something new to the automobile industry in the near future. Formula One fuel partner Aramco has already started the initial processes related to synthetic oil production and they will produce them from two plants which are expected to set up in Saudi Arabia and Spain. We have to wait two more seasons to feel the real power of synthetic fuel powered internal combustion engines. What do you think about the synthetic fuel usage in Formula One? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. That is the end of the story about synthetic fuels and make sure to subscribe to the channel to get more interesting updates related to F1.